Wow, you can see the woods here. It's a tight little shot here, Matt. Craig with a three-stroke lead and uh, everybody else on the chase. Yeah, Cubby, uh, this course is tough. Now, the first hole we got, 291 feet. Tough little right-to-left shot. Very tight gap, as you can see. Great camera work here. Back down the fairway. Oh, oh an early tree there, Matt. Yeah, he macked left, and, well... It's going to have some work to get to par. Steve Brinster on his first shot here on hole 10. Now, this is a hole that when you step up here as a pro, you're expecting to deuce this hole. This hole, is you're just expecting to deuce it. Nice smooth shot, but Steve catches a tree. And he's not too pleased with that result. Eric Robbins. Coming through. When we hit a rock. Sound at the end, but that was a pretty good carry. Yeah, it looked like he might have went a little left. Let's see if James James Lane can send it down. When James is pretty far back. He really needs to put the hammer down if he wants to make a threat at this event to win. Kick there. And Sean Healy on his drive. See if Sean can find the, the target. Nice throw, clean. Oh, he Nicely done just there, passed the, the pin. Should have a nice look at it. Craig, it's Craig Cutler there. You see through that shrubbery. Get off. I'd call this a wooded section of the course for sure. Absolutely, Cubby. You know, it's not only that, it's, it's very lush. All right, he doesn't have too much work left. Nah, he's got himself about a 25-footer. Let's see if Steve can get down there. Try to salvage his par out of this uh, bad light that he has here. Well, that like well a tight executed shot. That was right very to nice the hole. There, Matt. Right underneath. Sean had the best drive of the, the group here, so he's got a putt for a two. Boy, that was a bags sweet shot nice. there, Matt. And it's a rare thing there, and this mighty Galea is a two on your scorecard. Craig to save the par, maintain his edge. Nice right well dead done. center chains, Matt. Sweet shot there. Love the sound of the sweet dead center putt right there. James has got his shot in. Well, we see the leaderboard there, Matt. Craig still, uh, with a still you need a lead on Stevie because he's going to make you make you pay if you make a mistake. That's, Matt, we're on basket eleven, par four, four hundred and forty-four feet. Uh, we're going up the back slope here, uh, going up run number two. This is a huge uphill, and it goes to the right. This is a manly par four. Sean, a little bit right. What you really want to do is get straight up this fairway as far as possible. Just follow those you know, where the lift lines are. You want to go straight up as far as possible. That will give you the best angle to, to attack this uh, pin. And that's just what Craig has done. Might have come up a little short. Now here's Steve Brister, one of the biggest arms in disc golf. Absolutely. As a way of making these long holes look short. He can really send them there. Uh, but a stellar throw like that, it's, that's ideal. Position. Ideal. Position A right there. See if Eric can follow it up. They're coming through it a little bit. Taking the inside route. It's not really the preferred way to go. Definitely makes it a little bit more uh, adventurous to get to the to the pin from, from the right side of this fairway. Another big pull, but a little over torque, and they ended up down the right side. Yeah, he was trying to match Princeton's throw there and came out of his hand early. Oh, 
James hit an early tree there. He's going to have some work to get his to get his par. Uh, he a tree there. That was an adventurous shot. That was close. Eric's going to try to take it outside around these trees. Turn it over. Yeah, he's going to take it outside high, left to right. Try to skate it in there. Looks like he's in the neighborhood yeah, there. Yeah, it's going to give him a nice look. But Craig just came up a little short, and he's got the, a little rough footing here on his shot. Let's go. Ah, oh, he hit the guardian tree. You know, it looks like he's got a clean look at it from there, Matt. Yeah, he's going to have a little uphill. It's, it's a little tough to judge. Steve That's, was in a good position here for a look. Yeah, this is just pretty much Steve throwing a, a putter. Throwing up there nice and close. Within 20 feet, should have a good chance at the, the birdie three. Just turned over a little bit right. Craig's got an interesting style there with that uh, setup there. Yeah, he's definitely going through the motion, and that's exactly how he putts. Oh, oh just, just missed it. Sawed it off a little bit to the left side. James left himself a little, little bone here to get for his par. Nicely got it. done. Good par, James. And there's Steve Brinster with the drop in three. Nicely done. He picked up a stroke on Craig. Now it's only two. Steve's on the march. And at this point, it's pretty much a two man show between Craig and Steve. All right, Matt, we're on to basket 12. This is a par four, 438 feet. This has got to be the longest 438 feet you've ever thrown. Big left to right off the tee, and then huge uphill to the protected pin. He's got the power to make it look easy and oh. crank that one out there. And it's oh, still turning boy. nicely done. That is huge around the corner. We'll have almost a level shot at it. Sean really needs to get in the one here and, and this looks like it just started to fade back out. Yeah, you really, that's gonna make the, the approach shot a little longer. You really want to keep it turned into the right there going up this hill. Anything that falls off, well, it's falling left, and gravity's taking over, falling down the hill. Craig with good power, nicely executed, way up the fairway. There. All right, Eric is going to take a uh, forehand shot here, Matt, and bring it around that way. Yeah. Eric is really proficient with this shot, where he could really power it up that hill a lot better than he can backhand. And it's nicely done. He's in good position. James checking out the footing there on the tee pad. Well, it had been raining uh, the previous week uh, coming into this event. Starts the turn, but look like it's bailing back. That's not too bad. It's still got a little bit of work. Uh, beautiful camera work. Good look there as they go up the hill. And a little sun beaming through the trees here. Got to hook it hard around those trees left. Come on in. Nice. Nicely done. I'll give him a look over that bush at the possible birdie three. Got James. He's got a good look at it. He's, you got to really power it up this hill. It's a lot farther than you think. Uh-oh. I kicked it back out to the right. You know, well hidden basket there, Matt. Yeah, this is a this is a well protected target, and uh, Craig threw a great drive. He's going to probably play a big high right so, right to left, try to skate it in there. Yeah. Oh wow! There we go. Very nice. He just about put it in. That was a great shot by Craig. Steve's got to answer. We want to keep within two. Sends it up and he caught the trip. Yeah, he's okay. 